My name is Ian, and I'm an Australian-born, full-stack JavaScript engineer and manager who has recently immigrated to the United States and am now calling San Francisco my home. On the front end, I've extensive experience in both React with Redux, as well as Angular 2 and beyond. This includes the use of WebSockets, CSS modules, service workers, and the latest build tools, as well as server-side rendering in both frameworks. On the back end, my experience over the last few years has been building microservice architectures, utilizing Kubernetes and Docker, with experience building these systems on both Amazon and Google's infrastructures. My high level of experience with Kubernetes and microservice architectures has also given me a much larger scope to select and use a larger variety of databases than most engineers normally get to. As such, I have a good level of knowledge for the latest databases, how to get them to work efficiently, and the context in which they work best. I also have a strong academic background, which includes two master's degrees, including an MBA and the other in IT, with a bachelor degree in business and a diploma in project management. As such, I'm able to manage projects from both the strategic and technical level with a higher level of critical analysis, typically leading to a more pragmatic, performant and profitable outcome. The following are a few examples of recent projects that I've worked on, giving you an idea of my skills and capabilities. Decky, commonly referred to as the TripAdvisor for the boating industry, has been a project I've worked on for the last few years. It allows users to see aggregate ratings and read and write reviews on various boating industry items. It also includes a blogging system, which allows users to browse and search for content which they're interested in, mirroring how sites such as Medium work. Like Medium, the entire site is also passwordless. As you can see here, I only need to enter my email, click the link, and I'm now authenticated. Returning to the previous tab, I can now interact as a normal user. It's worth mentioning that I originally built the entire site in Angular 2 during Angular 2's beta, but I made the strategic choice to switch to React and Redux due to it being a more stable and strategic choice. This transition proved my abilities as far as component composition as the rebuild in React took only a little over a week to complete and launch. The site is also very fast due to server-side rendering and good caching practice, as you can see here. But I encourage you to visit it online and see for yourself. The back end of the site comprises of about 30 individual services running on top of Kubernetes on Google's infrastructure. Kubernetes allows for scaling very easily, allowing us to ramp up available services as well as reduce them. The speed of the site is attributed mostly to the extremely powerful caching layer that we call the discovery service. All front-end data is aggregated and held in Elasticsearch, which is not only very fast, it also has the benefit of being able to be explored and analyzed with Kibana. We can also build out dashboards, as you can see me doing here. All services communicate via standard HTTP requests, but also via AMQP through RabbitMQ. This allows the system to handle higher loads by deferring the processing of non-time critical events until it is able to do so. Another project I have exclusively developed recently is Engage Communicator, which I was appointed to build for PricewaterhouseCoopers. Communicator is a white-label, multi-tenant product that PwC sells to clients, giving each tenant a branded app for their employees to access hosted data such as files and other information. Tenants can administer users, send push notifications, create catalogs and categories which contain articles, and upload files for users of the app to access. The web-based admin portal uses material design and definitely reinforces the PwC brand of quality to the tenant who is the main user of the web portal. The 
the app, which is a hybrid built in Cordova, is customizable by the tenant, allowing them to reinforce their own brand to their employees and users, and is available on both Android and Apple. After logging in, a user can browse catalogs, its categories, and the articles that belong to that category. Unfortunately, these are only placeholder images and data, and I can't show you a real app for privacy reasons, but when images are selected matching a tenant's branding, the app looks like an extension of the tenant's product. Another powerful feature of Communicator is its two-way notification system. Users can be required to acknowledge notifications, which notifies admins. This feature can be extremely powerful in crisis and emergency situations at work. Of course, users are always able to search for any information they need via the powerful search tool which is included as well. One last quick work example is Lucky Lolly Slots, which I did as a consultant with an agency based in Newcastle, Australia. This app mimics a slot machine app and was built as a study into gaming addiction. The entire app is built using Cordova, utilizing only CSS and JavaScript. Other front-end developers will appreciate the challenges of getting animations like this to work at 60 frames per second on mobile devices. I can confirm it was a challenging and educational experience. backend mirrors a lot of the work I did on Communicator, with the notable addition that the editing of a game is likely one of the most complicated forms that I have ever worked on. This could have been simplified, but was requested by the client and included a number of dependent fields, multi-dimensional drag and drops, and many selectors based on other form properties. If you wish to get in contact or find out more about me, you can do so using any of the following details. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch it and have a fantastic day.